Hey fam. So, let's see what messages this new moon in Gemini has for you. Okay? How you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. All right. Honestly, I'll take I'll, I'll talk about that in a personal video, but it's been a time. <laughs> let's see what wants to come through. Let's see what messages Oh, that's, okay. Okay, I split it and it fell and it's like, yo, strategizing, taking the time to realize what it is that you want to take with you on this new adventure, new journey. And with the four of wands, this right here, this is beautiful. This is celebration. This is a coming together, a knowing that you have been home this is the number four makes me think of cancer because the fourth house in astrology is cancerian you know it's the cancerian energy and we will be having the moon in cancer so we'll be going through this energy as well but the four of wands is of celebration coming together and realizing that all this it's like I'm seeing the six of wands as well. All this energy, I'm sorry, I'm channeling. I can't help it. <laughs> but I, I feel it with this, with this energy of the four of wands. It's celebrating your journey and having, I don't know, I see like a party. I see people just enjoying themselves, eating all sorts of goodies and just, just having a good time. This is what I see here and this is very beautiful, okay? Let's see. What else wants to come through? Let me shuffle waffle. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's strength. I I was feeling my Venus and Leo popping off for sure. But like this is this is really beautiful, guys. This is strength to have overcome all the obstacles. With this seven of swords, it makes me think that there was a lot that needed to be like ob like this observation over time to make sure that the next move would make sense for you, right? So this strategy, because I'm looking at it as a strategy. Others might look at it as something sneaky, but it really depends on perspective. I feel that with this four of wands there has been a culmination a, a, a chapter coming to culmination i feel especially with the new moon it's a time to really hone in on what you want to what new seeds you want to bury into the ground right and then with strength it's all about your desires <laughs> my light flickered <laughs> um and what is worth your time? What is worth the time that you put into things that you want to make things worth it? So interesting. Oh my gosh, right behind this, the, the strength card is a tower. It could have felt like a tower moment, guys. You could have felt like everything crumbled down and you had to build a new foundation. I feel that. <laughs> but there is just this beautiful energy of you've tamed the wild beast within. I feel that a lot of us have a part. There, there's this part inside that we wish to express. This is courage and bravery, but also... I, for some reason, I see strength also kind of like an inner child energy where you got to understand where the intentions of, of this energy is coming from so that you can heal that part of yourself. And sometimes it feels like everything doesn't make sense or everything, it's just like overwhelming. And you want to find, I almost said a cure. Yes, a lot of us just want to heal as, as fast as possible. And I know that with time, 
it's always with with time but we have to be kind to ourselves which i feel with this card it really resonates with me it's like holding that part of yourself that you haven't been able to hold because for so long it's been so untamed it's like you feel like it's this beast that you don't want to open up the door to this um part of you because you're so you've been so scared of it like kind of like a shadow portion of self or doing the shadow work but take what resonates only of course and with the strength card it's a renewal it's holding that part of you coming to terms with yourself and loving yourself fully loving every bit of you because when you love every bit of you you can love every bit in someone else or be more compassionate however that is for you and it is a very important lesson i feel because I feel everyone, we can see ourselves in every single person, even the darkest parts of ourself, right? And that's what makes it so scary. But with this strength card, it's overcoming it. We are in an eight universal year too. They say it's karmic and all that stuff. But what I think of is the strength card. It's overcoming these parts of self that you are too afraid of to open the door to or to face and then rekindling that part of self and really just holding that part holding yourself tight sometimes we need to do that sometimes we need to give love to ourselves because everyone around us that cares sometimes it, it just, you need to be in your power to see your power. You hold it inside your power. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just went into channeling and that's what I saw. And I, I can't believe it. I didn't even pull any more cards. It just felt so important to bring this up. I've been thinking about the strength card all day too. <laughs> and lions. <laughs> we all have this lion within us wanting to roar, whether for attention, love. We just want to be seen. And this is very beautiful. So the message from the, this new moon is that it's a new beginning on the way that others see you and the way that you see yourself. All right. I don't know. Wow, that, that got me. Anyway, sending so much love. And till the next reading, take care, guys.